set it back to where it was or something. Yeah. I'm Hannah Wozolewski and I'm a projection designer. A projection designer makes moving images for the stage, so that could be for plays, for theater, that could be for opera, it could be for concerts or dance. So a typical day completely varies based on where you are in the process. So at the beginning of starting a project, um, it's very research-based. You research the subject, you research visual materials that relate to that show. And then I typically storyboard the whole show using the set models, and I mock in where the projections would live on the stage. And then after that, I generate the content itself that is then used to project live onto the stage during the production. To succeed uh, as a projection designer, the most important thing is to have a curiosity for it. I don't think you necessarily have to be great at the technology. I think you can learn that as you do it. Being curious, uh, having a love for the moving image, um, and enjoying collaboration, which is a really big part of the job, and collaborating with your fellow designers or to sort of discover what that visual world of the play or the opera is. Formerly I went to the school, uh, Yale School of Drama, to study projection design, which is a conservatory and you really spend three years focusing very seriously on design and my focus was projection design. My first big break in the industry was probably a show called The World is Round, um, which was shown at the Brooklyn Academy of Music in, in New York. And it's a, an adaptation of a Gertrude Stein children's book. Advice that I would give to someone looking to have a career in theater would be to see plenty of theater as a start and sort of see what really intrigues you and draws you in um, and to meet people working in the field and try to sort of get to know through them what it's like practically working in the field. And I think it's also important to uh, be curious about the other aspects of art as well. For me as a designer, it's not just theater that really interests me, but I gain a lot of inspiration from the fine art world and going to museums and seeing other forms of art as well.